Welcome guys, it's Sin here from SinHardware.com. Uh, I'm going to introduce a new 10 minute tech session where I go through some features that are pretty cool of each motherboard. Um, so here we have a G1 Sniper 3 with BIOS F6A. Here's the board right here. I have a USB drive plugged into it. That USB drive is has just flashed my BIOS. So I'm going to BIOS F6A here. I'm in the advanced mode. Uh, this is the 3D mode. Everything is cool in the 3D mode. Uh, you can open windows, close them, you can monitor some system parameters right here. So if I go into 3D mode, all that kind of stuff. To escape 3D mode, you want to press F1 or escape. I prefer pressing escape. And if you press it, you won't ever have to start at that window again. Okay, so now I go here and I just look, flash the BIOS. So I want to load optimized defaults is the first thing I do. Then I want to F10 and save. Now I still have that FAT32 flash drive formatted and in my uh, computer. Basically, that drive will save and load profiles for overclocking and anything else to the BIOS. So basically, all the settings I have here, I can basically go into the last menu, which is a save and exit menu. All right. So go to the last menu over here. Go down here, and this is save, and this is load. Save, load, save, load. When I go to save, it's going to give me an option to save in 10 spaces. And the first one I have saved something called nameless. Profile 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. But also select file in hard drive, floppy disk drive, or USB drive. So I want to click that. Now select my device. Here's my flash drive. Now, here's some uh, files in the folder. Everything is basically set up. You even have a counter here uh, to see how many files are in the folder. Now, if you hit the first option, it says new file. You can hit that, enter the file name, and we'll just say standard. Alright. Now, my BIOS profile was saved with the name standard. If I want to load profiles, I either have profile 1, which is nameless, and I have select profile in hard drive, floppy disk drive, USB drive. Go there, select my drive, and now I can find the file standard. See, now we had 82, and now we have 83 files. Here are my BIOSes, and then I hit standard. There's standard. I can hit standard, and profile loaded. Now, the cool thing is, I can make profiles here, and you can load them up on your G1 Sniper 3 at home. I also can make them for the UD3H, UD5H, basically any Z77X gigabyte board. Um, so I will start doing that. So let me show you how I'm going to do it. Let me load a profile here, just like you would. Um, so I'm going to go here, and uh, here's a G1 Sniper. Um, this is a uh, 4.5 gigahertz with DVID and XMP profile. Profile loaded. Whereas my frequency here is 100 megahertz, 4.5 gigahertz. Profile is at 1333, but profile one for the XMP. Everything here is done all right. Um, voltages, I have my DVID offset, PLL low dropped. 3D power control is all set up for this. And DRAM voltage, yeah, I set that to 1.65 for this profile. There's actually one thing I need to change in this profile. I need to enable um, some of these. Uh, got it. Now the profile is good. Now I'm going to resave the profile for you guys. Uh, doing the same place. And that was the G1 Sniper 4.5 DVID and XMP. Alright. File exists overwrite. Yes. Profile saved. Now I'm going to upload that profile for you guys on the internet. And you guys are going to be able to load it up to your boards. And I will do this for every board, and I have multiple profiles. And it's pretty cool, because here is my overclock. Right now you see we're at three, uh, almost like 4 gigahertz because of the stock stuff. And so I save configuration, let's see if we start up with the overclock. Alright, everything is going good on the board side. Post is all good. Seems the overclock stuck. And so here we go. We're back in the BIOS now. Alright, overclock, new, 4.5 GHz, uh, 1333, memory, let's see XMP profile set, all my timings are of XMP for this kit, now I'm going to up, up my frequency to 6, 1600 MHz, I'm going to save, and here we go again, computer is back up, and all you got to do is load that profile, your XMP profile will load, and you can increase the memory frequency to go to your XMP. You also might want to deal with some of the voltages. Um, let's say my voltage is about, what is it now, uh, 1.332 volts on load. So let's say that's way too high for 4.5 gigahertz. So you just go to core voltage here, and you go to DVID offsets, and you can either page up 
to decrease the voltage value or page down to increase it depending on the stability level stability level and that's all you really need to do alright so that's this is me Sin from Sin Hardware Tech and 10 I hope you enjoyed the video today and basically that's profile sharing and how to do it so if you have any questions any requests for profiles or anything else please let me know I will get you a profile as soon as I can for anything you need alright